In this video, we're going to look at purchasing power parity and how to calculate the nominal exchange rate implied by the theory of purchasing power parity. Purchasing power parity is a theory that in the long run, the nominal exchange rate adjusts so that the purchasing power of different currencies is equal. This means that the real exchange rate equals 1 if purchasing power parity holds. And it also means that after adjusting for the nominal exchange rate, a good must sell for the same price in all locations if the purchasing power parity holds. So let's do an example. Uh, the price of one pound of coffee in the U.S. is six U.S. dollars, six U.S. dollars per pound. The price of coffee in Brazil, let's say, is 27 real per pound. Let's solve for the nominal exchange rate consistent with the theory of purchasing power parity. So all we're going to do is we're going to set six U.S. dollars per pound of coffee equal to 27 real per pound of coffee. And the first thing we'll note is that the pound uh, on the left-hand side and the right-hand side cancel. So 6 U.S. dollar equal 27 real. And let's divide through by 6. And 27 divided by 6 then gives us the implied nominal exchange rate, assuming purchasing power parity holds. So the implied nominal exchange rate is 1 U.S. dollar will trade for 4.5 Brazilian real. Or just a reciprocal of that, uh, 1 divided by 4.5 means 1 real will trade for 0.222 U.S. dollars. And over here, I just note here, given this implied nominal exchange rate of 1 U.S. dollar equals 4.5 real, we could take the pound of coffee in Brazil, 27 real. What is a real equal to? Based on our nominal exchange rate, 0.22 U.S. dollars. So doing the math here, 27 times 0.2222 equals 6 U.S. dollars, okay, which is equivalent to what a pound of coffee uh, is priced at in the U.S. Or vice versa, 6 U.S. dollars, given this exchange rate, is equivalent to 27 real. 6 U.S. dollars, uh, where 1 U.S. dollar is equal to 4.5 real. So just making that substitution into this uh, equation here, 4.5 real for U.S. dollar, uh, that $6 of U.S. coffee converts to 27 Brazilian real. One more example. Let's say the price of bananas in the U.S. is running at 0.44 U.S. dollars per pound, or 44 cents a pound. And the price of bananas in New Zealand is 1.5 New Zealand New Zealand dollars per pound, NZD, New Zealand dollars per pound. Let's solve for the nominal exchange rate consistent with the theory of purchasing power parity. So doing the same setup as we did in the last screen, the pounds cancel here, uh, dividing through by 0 0.44. We get to this step here, 1.5 divided by 0 0.44. We get the implied nominal exchange rate that one U.S. dollar will get you back 3.41 New Zealand dollars. Or the reciprocal of this, uh, one New Zealand dollar equals roughly 0 0.293 U.S. dollars. Okay, given this nominal exchange rate, uh, the purchasing power of U.S. dollars and New Zealand dollars happens to be equalized. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.